Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm David. I'm Tamara. And uh, this channel is all about daily life in Bosnia-Herzegovina. Uh, the two of us, a married couple, a British-Bosnian British couple. bosnian so, Canadian. <laughs> yeah, so if it's something that you might be interested in, then you might consider sharing. Subscribing and uh, making comments down below. And don't forget, if you subscribe, to press the dingly dongly bell, which is a little bell button. And uh, that, yeah. notif that notifies you every time we post a new video. And if you give us thumbs up, that helps as well. Right, we haven't posted something for a good few days now, and that's because we've been um, exhausted. We've been suffering with food exhaustion. Yes, we had a holy January in this in this part of the Bosnia and Herzegovina, where basically people don't do anything; they just uh, celebrate, eat. Yeah. Uh, get death death by food, you would say. Death or by food. Death by food. Yeah. It all started um, for us on the twenty fifth of December because that was like my Christmas and yes, then and just ended like a few days ago and then we had the Serbian <laughs> Orthodox Christmas the Serbian Orthodox Christmas which is 14 days afterwards right yes followed by New Year's Eve followed by New Year's Eve and then the first of many Serbian Saints um, days that we have here every family I have to say Orthodox family every family has a patron saint yes right and that means, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and small furry animals from wherever you are in the world, that means there's three days of celebration. Massive meals, uh, which the ladies of the house spend days on. How long, would it, how long do you think it takes? Cooking and preparing. Uh, but the, the menu is pretty standard, isn't it? Yes, it's pretty standard. So what is the menu? What do we get when we go into Slava? And you get used to it after a while. You know what's coming. Yeah. Okay, so Same what, for the Christmas and so, same for the Slava. So what is the menu? So the menu is first you arrive, of course, and you have to have rakia or beer. Uh, beer but usually people have rakia to say happy Slava and things like that. And then after that, you have soup, like a homemade soup. Made clear soup. Clear soup, like a bone broth, chicken soup, it's usually chicken soup and then uh, after the soup there's a salma which is a uh, cabbage rolls uh, stuffed with uh, beef and pork mixed and rice together it's like and spices it's like ukrainians if you're ukrainian and watching this you know what cabbage rolls are and spices and also some people put uh, lots of dry meat so it gives the this heavy heavy flavor i love salma and uh, to slava where we went the salma was very good at the both places and then after salma then you have meat, uh, you have usually spit roasted pork or spit roasted chicken, uh, spit roasted chicken and pork. Some people have lamb as well. And then they serve it with some sort of um, like p salad, like pickles. Uh, you, usually it's a pickled salad, like pickled peppers or cabbage or uh, pickled, uh, how do you say? Cucumbers? Cucumbers. Cucumbers, yeah. Gherkins. Gherkins. Sorry. If you're English, you'll know that you'll know gherkins. Gherkins, yes. And they also have cheese pie as well. And and um, uh, after that, uh, homemade. Yeah, the, cakes. you have also bread, and then after that, you have like a 20 or 30 choices of cakes to eat. So it's um, it's full on, and it normally lasts. How long would you say a, a, a Saint's Day, a Slava, it's called? Um, if you want to know what a Slava is, check in the show notes below because it is so complex, um, and it seems to me that there are so many Serbs. Uh, and Orthodox people in this country in particular that all have a different idea of what it's all about. So I went to Wiki um, uh, because they say Wiki is better than Encyclopedia Britannica these days. So in the link below, you'll find out about it. But it does take a long time to prepare. I mean, it yes, it does. But uh, you usually everyone helps in the family. So it's not only the mother who's making the meals. I mean, let's, uh, let's take usually it's like a, a split. Uh, split uh, split jobs the guys they kill the pig they roast the pig or the lamb uh, women they make sarma they make cakes soups uh, but what, the guys go buy drinks how long does it take to make sarma you're very good at sarma not really <laughs> i am good but uh, my sarma is good people say it's good but uh, that that takes hours doesn't it it, it depends. Usually three or four girls are making it. So if you have like me, my mother would make, maybe my aunt would come and help. And then children, if you have female children, they learn from the small age to make sarma. So it's uh, maybe it takes an hour, two hours and then you cook it. Well, we did the Christmases and the New Year was just like New Year. But when it comes to this Slava, this, this Saints Day celebration, for us it is quite... 
it sounds very it sounds very disrespectful to say it's an effort our neighbors invite us the evening before and i swear to god it's like a dry run isn't it yeah what do you mean by dry run well dry run means we're gonna we're gonna try it all out try it all out yeah so we eat and eat and eat and i mean you can he say does. he does you not me <laughs> And I was going to say, I was going to call this five tips to survive Slava, but I think we just called the video how, how we survive Slava. How we survive Slava. Yeah, you, you have to have a strategy and an experience. But a strategy goes out the window to, when you get there, survive. doesn't it? Yeah, depending who you are and how much you love to eat. So. But I always say, Tam said to me, David, when you go this year, just cut back on the eating. But when you get yes, such nice back. food... Have a, everything of little bit, cut back on booze. But when you see it all in front of you... Because tomorrow you have to go and do it again. So yeah, you but have when to... you see it in front of you and you take that first mouthful... Yeah, you, you, you have to have a good self-control not to eat all of it. Do you have like... self... Do you have good... Be honest now, don't lie. Do you have good self-control? Yes. And plus I had a gallbladder surgery, so there is not still having problems with my stomach, so there's no way I can eat a lot of food anymore. So we eat, when we go to our neighbors anyway, they're very, very hospitable people. Um, and we, I, I think it's like a dry run. They do it basically just to say thank you for being neighbors, do they? Or is it just out of politeness? Yes, yeah, yeah, so that, that's how it is. They like to start their slava with uh, the day before with uh, treating their neighbors. And then, the, so we get home. What time do we get home? We normally go there at about seven. Seven and then Back we get by home 10? by 10, 30, 11, I don't 10, know. 30, 11. Yeah. And then we go to sleep with the... So, oh, I mean, I had really bad... I, I, I was because so, David cannot control himself. He eats so much. As you can see. And he even has cakes. <laughs> and the day, the day tomorrow he's always ill, he can't eat, blah, 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 mm. blah, blah. So you go to sleep, 10, 10, 30, 11. So I told him, have a strategy, have a little bit of everything save yourself because you're going to have another day and then you're going to have another day and some people have five people to go to the slava because saint jovan's day which is which is on the 19th of um, january uh, uh, celebrate for three days plus uh, it's a huge saint so many families celebrate saint jovan's day and you have to go to your friends so some people went to five places yeah we don't we only go to one no we go to two two places yeah so the following day all right so let's go to bed at like half past ten so at night. So let's talk about five things how to survive. Okay. So I, first I thing is have you have strategy. to have a strategy. The second thing is don't be greedy. Uh, I would say uh, also um, be careful of uh, the drinks. Be careful of the drinks. Drinks. If you drink beer, for example, you don't drink too much because it fills you up. Then you can't eat. Yes. So yeah. you have to uh, be very careful. So you don't drink too much. So you can stuff yourself with the proper food. <laughs> Always have something to talk about. That Always helps. Have, yeah, that helps as well because when you're talking, then you're not eating. So that's right. Much. And you see, my 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 local language is pretty poor, and everybody else is chatting away. Yes, but when and you I'm have, compensating by eating. Yes, and you and you have a one or two rakia, then you speak like you're a local here. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know what the fifth one could be. Uh, so you have a strategy. So you have everything of little bit. Small portions. Uh, for example, me, I always skip the soup because I know the soup is going to fill me up and I'm not a great fan of soups. So I skip the soup and have salmon. And I don't eat much bread because bread also fills you up. Yeah, that's true. And, so, and you guys make really nice. The, the bread is homemade as well. It's called Slavsky Kolach, right? Slavsky Kolach. Did I set up right? Yes, you did. <laughs> you got that's cool. There slowly. So that's us talking about Slava. If you are from uh, or you are with a Slavic family, whether you are in the Balkans or if you live somewhere else in the world, United Kingdom, America or whatever, how do you manage to, or how do your parents or how do your grandparents or even you, how do you recreate that wherever you are? It'd be interesting to see people in Australia because it's hot while they're having it as well. Yes, but I don't know if people in Australia, Orthodox people celebrate Slava there or is it... It'd be interesting. Please Mick, Mickey regularly watches this. Yes, uh, so Mickey will tell us. Do, do you have a Slava uh, with your family in uh, Australia or you don't? I don't know. Maybe some people don't celebrate no. when they move away from home. But that, we, it's, it's not just for six actually because it does slow you down, doesn't it, all this food? It and um, what else has been happening? It's getting cold. We've got a new studio set up. We're going to start changing the colours every now and again. Uh, background colors. Tam said she didn't like the black. No, I, I like not, it. Uh, I'm not a great fan of black color because black color 
it's not very good and I think even in all the pho pho uh, photographic um, software that people use nowadays it's always dark gray which emphasizes the colors so when you when you edit your colors like if you do a wedding photo shoot and now you edit your colors you put the dark gray and it helps you to put the levels the proper way but uh, when you read the history of the black color because I studied design it's really really uh, it's a sad color makes people sad in many cultures it's a, a color of mourning Morning. Yeah, morning. <laughs> morning. Yeah, crying. So I don't, I'm not happy about uh, David's new setup, but uh, this is the David's channel, so we, I'll go with what I get. Okay. <laughs> well, that's it for this time. We'll catch you on the next one. Please, uh, if you want to subscribe, we would really appreciate it. We have a Patreon link as well uh, in the show notes below, which if you'd like to donate and help us to uh, keep the channel growing. That'd be nice. Yeah, that would be very nice. So what's, what are you going to do after this when we switch this camera off? Uh, after this, I'm going to watch some marketing videos and uh, I'm going to eat the soup that I need. Chicken soup. Not Slava soup. Not Slava soup. Okay, until the next one. Uh, oh, by the way, somebody said they liked it when I gave Tam a kiss. That's nice. That's Can quite... I kiss you too? Mm. <laughs> so that's it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now. Bye.